Hey, what's up, turtles? Crick here. We're going to be taking a look at the Fjall Raven Vita Pro trousers today. These were sent to us from Fjall Raven US, and just some general specs. These are the Vita Pro trousers in solid colors. The length is regular. They're made of the G1000 original, which is a cotton poly blend, and these are the dark olive color option. All right, let me tuck my shirt in there before I go any further so you can get get a better look at the pants and trousers. These are $150 US, and that is expensive for a pair of pants. So these are dedicated hiking or technical trekking style pants. So I want you to stay around till the end because I'm going to talk a little bit more about the philosophy and my opinions on expensive gear. There aren't any back pockets where my bum would be or where my bum is, but there's pockets on this side of the pant. This is the right side. This is my right leg, right hand. And this is more of a traditional style cargo pocket because you see it's straddling this side seam. So it's on the back and front. But the other side, it's a little bit different. But in this pocket here, and this is a really big size pocket, but inside here you can see my cell phone floating in there. And there's actually a dedicated little mesh sleeve in there for a cell phone specifically. And that's primarily what I, uh, I take pictures with in the forest. So it's really convenient, nice. And then you have all this other space inside there for whatever. Moving to the left side of the trousers. Now you can see, here's the side seam right here, right? And then you have these two pockets oriented on the front of my left leg here. And I have like my wallet and keys in here. And one of the first things I was skeptical of uh, when I saw these pants was, how's it gonna ride when I'm walking and I'm lifting my leg up, you know, potentially hiking uphill with having stuff ride in here. But I've been thoroughly impressed with still the range of motion I keep and not feeling like any of the stuff in these pockets are restricting or obstructing my range of motion. But on the side of this as well, you have a pocket here with a snap at the top and bottom. And for those of you that are watching the uh, our OpenL number nine video, and I was saying, you know, I didn't like carrying it in my pocket, my front pockets, and have a sheath for it. Well, guess what? I found the perfect pocket for it. Bam! Just sits and rides in there real nice. And there's still plenty of room if you had a bigger multi tour, anything to put in there. These pants do accommodate knee pads if you want. And this is because this is a solid color. You really can't see the reinforced knees. There's extra G1000 on the knees and um, the rear of the pant. But there's a sleeve right here that if you did want knee pads, you could fold them, fold them in here and open them up for potentially if you're wearing these for work or you're on the ground a lot kneeling. You know, that can really wreak havoc on your knees if anyone's ever done flooring or any type of pulling up stuff off the ground. Uh, it can be a real, real <laughs> basically a tear on your knees. So it's really cool you have knee pads, uh, the ability to put knee pads in here. Moving down to the ends of the trousers, I have this side flipped up. And like I said before, these are regular length. They only come in regular or long. And I'm usually about a 30. So I have this cuff, you know, for length purposes, roll it up. But there is a feature here I wanted to show that there's this little clip right here, or hook. Or, yeah, hook, I guess you could call it. And this is just like you'd see on a pair of gaiters to be able to flip over, you know, attach it to your laces, part of your boot, whatever you want. But these are adjustable as well. And on this side, I actually, I actually am using that adjustable system. So I open them up the whole way. This is how they ride open. But then you have a point here, one there, and you have a third one. So you can tighten these up. But I have them just on the first one right there. You can snap that. You can see that it tightens it if you want. If you want to go one farther, you know, it even tightens it more around the top of my boot. So that's just that's a pretty cool feature. I, honestly, I really do like that. And put it back to where I had it. There are two pockets on the side right here, like you'd expect to see. These are a little tight, so I'm really not going to put anything in here that I want to get in and out all the time. But I do want to show you the amount of belt loops on these trousers. There's a whole bunch, which is really nice. Which is honestly really nice. That way you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be where you tighten them, that's where they're going to stay. You got a bunch, you know, solid, multiple solid points of contact for keeping these trousers up. If you're hiking all day, this or that, just a nice little feature. So you've stuck around and made it to the end. Thank you. As I mentioned before, these are $150. They're trekking pants. They're dedicated trekking pants and tech with a technical, uh, you know, more design to it. With that being said, 
with this G1000 original and like all the other G1000s, you can wax them. So you have that ability, like you'd, uh, you know, think of like wax canvas or something, be able to waterproof certain areas or the whole pant if you want. <clears throat> but you have that capability and that's not something you just see on every piece of outdoor clothing or garment or, uh, or even equipment because even the packs that come in G1000, again, you can wax. And there are, I think, at least four or five. Don't quote me on that, but there are multiple blends or types of the G1000. So yes, these are $150. But for, for me and maybe potentially for you who are looking to invest in the equipment to be outdoors a lot, I've been in the outdoors working and playing now for years of my life and it's gonna always be a part of my life. So investing in a pair of pants that has the features I want, the quality construction, you have the Fiat Raven, all their mission statements with the environment, their, their material, all of that, is that this is an investment for something I'm gonna have for years and years now, you know? And I'm not gonna be upset of using them, <clears throat> excuse me, using them or, or giving them hard wear, because that's what they're designed and built for, and that's what this thicker material feels like they're built for. So I just want you to keep that in mind when you see a price tag on something that it's not always warranted, but in the in the case of, of Fiat Raven products and what I've seen so far and used and tested that, that's the price is just on par with the capability of waxing and just the market and the quality of construction. So if there's anything I didn't go over, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Don't ever hesitate to ask me anything. This is Crick with Black Owl. Later, turtles.